Right, you guys have been wanting me to play this game for ages. I used to absolutely love it. I've already completed several of these episodes, and to be honest, they are absolute classics that you should probably re-watch if you haven't already. That one looks incredible, that's new. This one isn't available yet, but <laughs> to be honest, this is the one I wanna play. Okay, everybody, we are back. Myself and Rick at the home of secondhand clubs, Golf Bidder UK. Now, we have not done this challenge in three years, and I'm absolutely ecstatic. To be back, Rick, mate. Good to see you, pal. Good to see you as well. I've got a funny feeling everybody at home is like, yes, it's back. Golf bid a challenge. And I think I've missed it. Yep. You've missed it. Definitely. The audience has missed it. I think it's going to be competitive this year. Okay. I think it's going to be tense. I'm not so sure, but. I think it's going to be dramatic. And I believe you've got a little bit of a twist coming in this episode as well. It's not a little bit of a twist, ladies and gentlemen. This is a huge twist, which could absolutely throw the match in either direction, which is going to be happening tomorrow at a very cool course. So stay tuned for both the twist and where we are going to be playing. I think it is time to get inside, explain the rules, if you've not seen the video before, and meet some old friends. Donald, fantastic to see you again, hey mate. Guys. How is it going? It's good to be back. I think it's been five years. It has definitely been five Since years. I was here anyway. And you don't look literally any different. Well, I, I, I think I've aged. You guys look super, you know. You're, you're Benjamin Buttons here, uh, there to me. Not quite, but yeah, thank you. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> but to run over the rules, mm. for anybody who hasn't seen the challenge before, you've got 500 pounds to spend. You can fill your bag with, you know, traditional drivers, fairways, irons, wedges, butter or spin, blow all your money on whatever you want instead of irons. But tomorrow, the clubs you pick, you must use face off against each other in an 18 hole match to the death. It's a clean <laughs> slate. Death, wow. It's a clean slate, that. winner <laughs> takes all. Are we agreed? Yeah. Love it. Shake on it. By the way, I just want to say that's not the twist at the end of this. <laughs> just, to, just to make sure that's clear. Let's get on the website. Let's fit Get the on the website and get going. Now the twist of this year's 500 pound golf bidder challenge is we are going to be selecting each other's putter. So you go through the website, you pick whatever you want, but you got to leave the putter blank. And then with whatever budget is remaining, that's what we get to select each okay. other's putters with. Does that mean we can stitch each other up? It means you can be as nice or as nasty as you want to be. Okay, selections have been made and I think this might be my best bag so far. I'm glad you're confident. I'm not so confident. Oh, really? I, I struggled a little bit today. I've not even got 14 golf clubs. Okay. However, I think I've prioritised on the clubs that I'm going to hit the most. Okay. So it's just like a fantastic set of irons. <laughs> it's just like, I've just gone, I don't I don't feel like I've lumped, I've lumped out a little bit more on the driver. Okay. So I feel enough. like I've, I've spent a bit more of my budget on driver oh. and then just kind of narrowed the other stuff down. Mm, see, I went pretty classic on my driver. You've got speed. I need mm. help. So I've got help. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm happy I'm not fully, fully, fully confident, but it's going to depend on the putter you choose for me. For me. Yeah. Because I'm that's the club you hit the most. It is. I, I think I found something which will interest you when you put it out on the green. Great. In a nice way. Great. <laughs> it's time to go back and, well, I, if you've not seen these videos before, you're about to have a real, real treat. Get down to those comments below as we go as well and let us know who you think has chosen the best bag. Ah, there's so many amazing sets of irons in this warehouse and if you know where to look, some absolutely beautiful special editions such as these Ricky Fowler forged MBs from Cobra. Incredibly hard to hit, but they just feel and look lovely. And you know what else would be lovely? If you subscribed to the channel, over 50% of you currently watching this video aren't subscribed. So if you could hit that button now, it'd be lovely. All right, guys, let's go. Ready? Let's go and pick the clubs. Um, I am going to start. I mean, this, by the way, this place, I mean, it's just something else. Row after row, aisle after aisle, shelf after shelf full of used and brand new golf equipment. It's just the best. I'm going to come back to irons in a bit. I'm actually going to start with my wedges and i think this might be the starting point so i've gone with 
a Cleveland, a really old Cleveland. That could be the little bad boy. I've gone, yeah, that is it. <laughs> oh, I'm getting good at this. 58 degree Cleveland, 588, 12 degree bounce, good condition. I can duff chips with the best of them with that thing. And then, actually, we might not be going too far here because the next club is this one actually is so i've gone for 58 degree lob wedge and i've gone with a 52 degree um gap wedge which oh here she is wilson fg tour and i've actually gone with a 52 degree here i like this makeup 58 and 52 they're my wedges sorted let's go around and grab my hybrid next Okay, I'm going to start Ready. with a bank, the driver and the fairway wood. And as you'll notice, I'm walking through a tailor-made section. Stealth stuff over there, but I've not gone mega expensive to begin with. I've actually spread the cash out throughout my bag. However, I think I've found something sneakily really cool. So, this is the tailor-made R. 11. This was when TaylorMade were going through what you would call their white phase because this and the Rocket Balls, very vibrant, very noticeable, also super, super popular. It has movable weight within the head to basically have draw fade bias. How effective this actually was, I'm not entirely sure. It was, however, a really long hitting driver, but that's not all that's special about this club we have an Atlas Elements shaft as well. Anything which says prototype on it is in my book like, I don't know, what do you reckon, 10 yards longer than pretty much anything else? Okay, so, ah, here we go. I've gone with, I'm not a hybrid player, I'm not, but I thought this time I want something with a little bit of forgiveness that's just gonna sit in that slot because believe it or not this year, I've got no fairway woods in the bag. I've gone for one of these. That's it. That is the one. A 20 degree nice ping I-20. I like that. I think that's a club that's going to get me out of a bit of trouble, help me off the tee if necessary. And if I've got those par, fees, par fives I'm going for in two, this could be the tool. Right, three in the bag. Okay, now a putter for Pete. Now, I've got... I can't read him at the moment. I don't know if he's going to screw me over with his choice and get me something ridiculous that I just can't use. I mean, God forbid he gets me a left-handed putter. Yeah, I might be better with the left-handed putter. But I've got an idea of what I want to get him. Um, somewhere around here, actually. All right, mate. <laughs> hey, hey, right. hey, 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 you just move on. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, just picking your over. putter. Just you don't worry. Have a quick look. I did quite like these 3D printed ones. Well, you're not getting a 3D printed oh. one. Oh. You, you just, you just this, carry on, right? I'm picking your putter. There's some Toulons over here. I'm picking your putter. It's not going to be a Toulon. It's not going to be a Scotty Cameron. Um, got spiders over here as well. No. Problem is, Pete's pretty good at putting with any sort of thing. And you know why that is? It's because he's probably tried every putter on the planet. From long to short to every single style. Arm lock. Ah, I've got it. I found him one. So that is going in the bag. And I thought I'd stick to the same theme by getting this little bad boy right here. This is the one because you've got to save money in certain places. So I've got the Rocket Balls three wood, but it's in high launch. So I've not got a hybrid. I've not got a five wood. I've not got anything to kind of bridge that gap between my driver and my irons. So I've got a high launching three wood, which hopefully I can adapt because it's a three wood, but I think I've got a feeling this like comes out about like 17 degrees, something like that. So it should be able to bridge the gap quite nicely if I'm gonna be going for like a long par four or a par five in two. And I'm going irons next, which I believe is in this section. Oh yes. Tight list irons. I mean, look at so many of them. I could have picked a number of different options in the tight list irons. I originally put down a set of Nike irons until I realized the shafts were regular and I thought, I don't know if I'm gonna feel super confident with them. So I've gone for a set of, I think they're them. There they are. Let's 
check because that's yeah that's the ones <laughs> right iron wise i've gone with the tight list ap2 i genuinely don't believe you can go wrong with a set of tight list ap2s i've got three iron down to pitching wedge which is a perfect fit between the hybrid and the wedges i'm happy with this set so far i'm a bit worried about what putter pete has got me to be honest and i think we need to find one more club and my bag is complete squeeze down these aisles so many clubs here now wedges i have not scrimped on i've gone some really nice spinny feeling clubs because i'm thinking clubs i've not really used that much before i'm going to be missing a lot of greens well yeah more than usual anyway so i've gone for a couple of wedges which i think are going to suit me down to the ground which i've tried before and i can't see the loft but i think this there we go, there we go. 54 degree RTX3. Murdered out, of course, because as we all know, everything looks better when it's been murdered out. I think that's a lovely contrast <laughs> between the driver and the wedge. But I've also got a 58 degree as well, which is over here. So this, I think, is the only club in the bag that I've not actually tested, although I've tested variations of it. So Mac Daddy 4, 58 degree, eight degrees of bounce. Now, at the moment in the UK, the weather is soggy. So I really, really hope we are playing a dry course because with eight degrees of bounce, this might have a little bit of dig, but the condition of it is fantastic. The grooves look super sharp. So as long as we're playing a dryish course and I'm feeling confident, that is a winning, winning combination of wedges there. Right, a putter for Rick. Now, I've got a feeling that he's going to try and chaff me, but I think I might pick something for him that I know he's used a version of this putter in the past, and hopefully it can, well, let's face it, just help him prolong the game. You know, I don't want to be beating him after 12 holes, because I'm sure he's picked like a really nice course. So I want to be seeing it most of it, you know what I mean? We'll do that, we'll pick something good. Drivers, drivers. Now, I could have chosen many a different option. As you know, I've had quite a number of drivers in my bag over the years. However, there's one driver that has stood, in my opinion, the best of the best in the last 10 years. And we're in the right section for it. Cobra, you know it, ladies and gentlemen. I could not come down here to Golf Bidder and not splash out on this. And I actually think that's the one. Cobra King F9. Oh. Back. This is my favourite driver ever. Love the fact it's got a weight at the back, weight at the front. CNC milled face, beautiful shaping, sounds amazing. This for me, this is where I've splashed the majority of my money. But fingers crossed tomorrow, it will be worth it. I'm not as long as Pete, I'm not. But if I can keep this in, the, in play, I've got a fighting chance. She's back in the bag. God, it feels good to be home. That is my set so far. Let's find out what Pete gets with the putter. But I'm very, you know what? My optimism has changed. I was negative before, but now I'm on the bright side. I'm actually really impressed with those clubs. This is maybe my favorite place in the Golf Hood Warehouse. It's just so shiny in here. And it's time to select those irons. Well, Mr. Finch. This is a pretend cat. Okay. <laughs> I'll play along. Can we put a cat in there? Yeah, yeah, I think I think we could probably do that. Yeah, I think we could probably do that. How are you getting on? I mean, I'm slightly more freaked out now. Allow it's me. Not, it's not what you would have run into late at night, a strange man in a chair in a warehouse. You crash! How are you coming fast? No, your clubs. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have selected all my golf clubs. You you're done? Ready, done, finished, boxed off. Okay. So I'm just here now to antagonise you and intimidate you and potentially make you change your mind from the golf clubs that you originally picked. Um, I am, I would say out of all my clubs, my irons are the ones I'm the most confident with. Okay. I This is where I've spent most of my cash. Okay, okay. You're in the ping section, bad lots of things. Um, yes, but I'm also in the Shrixen section and the oh, Cobra right. section. 
I'm trying to throw you off, but... I, you, you've got to be going pink. Yeah, I, I, I always go pink. I'm so bloody predictable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but if you wouldn't mind, actually, just, like... So my irons actually are these bad boys. Now, the pinned I-20s. I always think, like, if you're going to select a second-hand set of clubs, you just can't go wrong with pings. Like, literally, all these irons in here, you're going from, like, pretty much, what, 10 years old all the way to pretty much brand new. They all look the same. Honestly, I reckon you could drop ping irons from a hot air balloon into a cement making factory and they will come out looking brand new. Also with these, it goes from a three iron all the way to wedge. So I've got that little bit of help in between my three wood and my irons. Mm. I'm very excited to use these. I think the only, only slight issue with them is there a black dot, which is one with it's two degrees more upright than my current irons. So I'm just gonna have to stand a little bit closer and maybe allow for a ball to go left. But I'm very excited about the I-20s. Love I-20s. Nice. Okay, let's have a look at each other's clubs. Now straight away, your driver is, it's noticeable. And as much as I would love to roast it, I think this is a great driver, so I can't, to be honest. I mean, talking about noticeable, from the guy who's got a bright green and black shaft and a white tailor-made R11 driver with a compass actually attached to it. Uh, that's an interesting choice. I am confident and I, I think I echo the opinions from the viewers. I've made the best choice within drivers and I don't think we need to negotiate any further. No, no you're course. right. You're right. You know what? I absolutely agree. Fair play. Really, has got the best driver. It's from this point onwards though, the... I think I've absolutely smashed you, if I'm being completely honest with you. Not sure. Well, I mean... I, I think the irons are fairly close. I, I respect the Ping I-20 choice. I think they're an unbelievable set of clubs without question. But I do think the Titleist AP2s, I mean, they talk about classic. I'm not sure if you get any more classic. Yeah, but these are like back than them. literally brand new. It's fine. I mean, I'm not... I, that's all right. I can live with that. Okay. And then weirdly, have you gone Cleveland Wedge as well? Yeah, one Cleveland, one Callaway. I've got one Cleveland, one Wilson. Uh, which Cleveland Wedge you got though? Uh, 588 Reg. I've got an RTX 3, mate. So top trumps. You can definitely, even though I think it looks good, I've got no idea what the Wilson Wedge is going to do. I, I think I've taken wedges there by like a country mile. And then I randomly, we've close. done a slightly different choice each for the bridge between irons and woods. I've not got any fairway woods. I Yeah. I've only got, well, I don't hit fairway woods really. And if I do, I top them. So I've gone for a 20 degree I-20, actually matches your irons, mm. uh, hybrid. I've gone for 17 degree RBZ. Random. That is a great club. Mm. It is if it was a three, actual three wood. The HL no. doesn't cut it for me. This, this three wood says, ah, he's made a wise choice. That hybrid says you've almost given up on golf. I panicked. I did, I panicked, yeah. <laughs> no question. But I'm very, very I, I spoke before, I wasn't so confident on my club choice. I've now seen them in the flesh, they're in the bag, and I'm like, yes, this, these are out of my street. All right, Don, I've got Riggs Poor. I think, I think this is a great putter, if I'm being honest with you. I would happily use this. And I'm pretty sure you used a version of this in the past. There's every chance, yeah. Yeah, I've used true, most yeah. putters on the planet, yeah. yeah. this is true. You're ha you'd happily use both ends of it or just the head? Uh, probably, <laughs> we're about to see what it is. Probably just the head. Go on then. Give me my weapon. Just what? look this way first. I was just okay, slightly got, nervous. I'm like, I really want to like grip it. grip on it, which I'm a big fan of. So I love the grip. And I, I genuinely, when I pick putters, I pick of the grip. Okay. It's got some bizarre counterbalance in there. That's fine. Oh, it's an Odyssey. Oh, listen, this is game over already, Pete. In it's a two rest. ball. It's an original. It's a blade. It's one of the only two balls I've not had in the bag, believe it or not. Well, you are welcome. And it's got a line on there that um, I might need to get the ruler out tonight. Do you not line it? Just do you to not check. use the line? I do, but I don't, right. know, I don't know how much I trust that line. Okay. I like that. It's a good length. I like the fact it's got a thick grip because I've got a little bit of a claw grip going on. This, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. You're that. welcome. Like yeah, a Christmas I, present. Yeah, no, I thought, I thought you'd like <laughs> it. And I'm actually really happy you are. Yeah, I really like that. 
So okay. Did you say you've reciprocated the gesture? No. no I, okay. I, was I was trying to find something as, as bizarre and as horrible as I could possibly find. Um, but, but I must admit, there wasn't loads of choice on the bizarre front. But I've gone for something that's longer than I think you normally use. Right. And I think I've gone for an option of a shaft and a, and a hosel that I can't recall you using for a long period of time. Right. Give it in. All will be revealed. Here we go. Okay. Well, it's a centre shafted putter, which is bringing back memories of 41 putts during a competition at Blackpool North Shore, which made me swear I'd never use a centre shafted putter again. So that's nice. For my research. Hunting. Ah, okay. In the bag. Now, these uh, Cleveland Nolly. Now these are actually meant to be really nice putters. I don't think I've actually ever tried one before. All right. I mean, it. Oh God, that's yep. fair. Thank you. I mean, it sits nice. Right, for me, you rack up the amount of tournaments. Odyssey have won from a putter standpoint. White Hot have won from a putter standpoint. Two Ball have won from a putter standpoint, and I have got this competition wrapped up. I think we just finished this off with who can hold this first putt. I right. think you might have inadvertently given a putter he actually enjoys, yeah. and I think it's <laughs> the best. He's going to do well with it tomorrow. Do you think this is going to be one of those things where I'm looking at it and I'm trying to make the best of the situation? No, I, I, I genuinely think you will. That's a great grip, by the way. I'll give it. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, God. That is quite long. How long is it? Do you remember? Uh, I've put a little bit of extra, no, it's 35. <gasps> oh, I hope that's not a sign. I really, I really hope Nobody wants to that, that is not there. a sign. Right, oh. so we've got the clubs. We are now on to where we're playing. Yeah, let's playing tomorrow. Um, I have picked a number of locations. Okay. But I think I've settled on the best one. Okay. I've done my homework and my research, and it's a beautiful golf course in the area. We've, we've got such an array of golf courses where we are right now, but tomorrow we are battling it out at St. George's Hill. Unbelievable nice. track. It's got three nine holes. I believe we're playing the blue and the red course. Tomorrow morning, battle commence. Mwah. This and the driver. I'm happy, Peter. Top Thank you. Tail in it. Thank you. If you want to catch up on the Golf Bidder Challenges so far, make sure you check this playlist out here. If you haven't already, I'm sure you have subscribed to Rick. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Mate, good luck. Play well. Enjoy. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>